Far East is an opportunity for our students to actually have what would be considered like district meets uh, that they would have in the United States. And instead, we are competing against other teams from Guam, South Korea, mainland Japan, and everybody gets together, in this case robotics, that they are working together in a competition. The kids have to program the bots to work on their own. And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. The bot even has to position itself. It has to figure out where, where it is on the arena and then go to a spot where it can score. This competition is a way for kids to learn about the engineering process. It's a way for kids to work on their teamwork. It's a way for them to learn a lot of different skills, but also to have a final result that is the result of all of their efforts rather than just one person. The plane worked and we were the only one with a working plane, so we're all good. Everything works. I'm really excited about this year because last year everyone was still finding their feet, but this year it seems like the competition's a lot stiffer. We have had problems with its speed and its stability because of the heavy claw that it carries. We decided to add another motor and that motor really helped speed it up, but also stabilize it, so that was a big victory. They're gonna do the far side and we're gonna do the interior side. The only thing I'm worried about is us clashing. The biggest challenges in developing the robot was conflicting ideals. With 10 new people, there's a lot more ideas floating around. There's multiple ways you can be an asset to the team, whether it be coding, building, documentation, or just being there to be there for your, for your friends. <laughs> We've put in a lot of work over the course of the year and we've done a lot of building and programming and testing and have a million headaches, right? Uh, it's really rewarding to finally succeed. The troublesome things with working on a single robot is that there's only so much space on the robot and hands are pretty big. <laughs> so it's hard to get a lot of people working on the same thing at a time. I've always been like fascinated with taking things apart, putting them back together, figuring out how they work. And I feel like robotics was just basically the perfect way of doing that with a set goal in mind. I think the most challenging part about the robotics event was actually just kind of tweaking the robot itself and making sure it kind of worked because you know you would take it on the field and you would practice it and then you would do it again and it wouldn't work and so you would have to kind of just go back and keep retweaking it and keep adjusting to try and find that perfect balance. I think it's really important for students to participate in these events because I think it really broadens our horizons on what we may want to do in the future. But this competition isn't about building robots, right? This competition is about building students and they are better students because they came here. It's such a unique event in the fact that you're pitted against a team and then five minutes later, you're allied with that same team. I believe that this is important to them because it's a lifelong learning event and it's, a, it's an opportunity for them at an earlier age to go out and push their boundaries, push their limits and try different things.